Okay. Let's see if I can get this together. Okay, so, hey, how's everybody doing today? This is a vlog. Okay, this is a horrible light. I may have to cancel and do this over. I'm in the car. I had a an impromptu uh, soccer game today. I was not aware that we had a game today. So I am sitting in soccer while my husband has got the boys at football. So, but I want this to go a long way. So let's see if I can get in a light that you guys can actually see me. All right. So hopefully that's better. Okay. All right. So I'm going to flip around I'm trying to do this the right way. All right. So sorry if I'm making you nauseous. Okay. So. Um, happy Vlogtember 17, um, this Sunday Gardener, Marketing Boss Pro. Super excited to have you guys here. I am going to do just a quick um, little recap on, I feel like I'm in the dark and I, that's why I hate to not go live, um, not in my, um, the comfort of all my bright lights at my desk. So anyway, um, today's topic is why you're band-aiding. How do you need to stop band-aiding your business together? So um, recently I've had um, a couple of instances where I have um, been encountering my clients and they've been uh, sort of hodgepodging things together, right? For economic reasons, um, expertise reasons, whatever that may be. And so, I mean, I'm doing a series on Facebook ads, um, this, this entire month and going into October as we're launching Facebook ad school. And so what I want to be really clear to everyone about is there is a time to be at an introductory level versus leveling up, not only in your thought, but also in the tools that you use for your business. When I first started my business, you know, I did everything myself, right? I did my own website. I did my own, I did everything. I mean, I was a jack of all trades. I did everything. Money was tight. Money is still tight, right? Let's be frank. Money is still tight. But I did everything and I went the very cheapest way that I could go, right? And it makes sense, right, to go cheap for while well, you're trying to figure it out, trying to figure out like what's the best tool for you. You don't know what your requirements are. You don't even really know what you're doing. So why spend a lot of money on tools, processes, automation, fill in the blank, whatever it is for your business when you just begin? But many of you are not beginners. If you are not beginning in your business and you've been at it for a while, it's probably time to up level the tools and the processes that you do. So I'm going to start with this. If you are ready to do Facebook ads, there's a certain level that you need to be at in your business before you start spending money on ads. And let me tell you what that is, what you need. So these are some of the prerequisites that you as a business owner need to have if you're ready to start advertising your business. So let's even start what makes you ready to start advertising your business. The first thing that makes you a good candidate to start advertising your business is that you have a solid offer. You know exactly what your core offer is. You may not have introductory offers. You may not have small freebie offers, but you have a solid core offer that you know will be wanted by a collection of people. Now, that may or may not be tested, but you know, you're not trying to figure it out, right? There was a time in my business that I was trying to figure out what I offer, what I wanted to do as a coach, you know, because I do a lot of things well, but I was really struggling with trying to figure out what is it that I want to do and what I want to be known for, right? If you're in that phase of your business, Facebook ads are not for you. Don't, don't start out there wasting money on doing it because you're not going to have a consistent message. You're going to be all over the place in terms of who you're selling to, all of that. So the first step is to ask yourself is, do you have a solid offer? A solid offer that you feel comfortable with, you know the, who the ideal client is, and you know that it's meeting, a, it's meeting either a desire or struggle that your ideal client is facing. If you don't have that, don't don't start advertising. If you do have that, put a check mark by it. The second thing that you want to ask yourself is, do you have a goal, right? What is it that you want to accomplish? Do you want to get, um, do you want to increase the awareness about who you are? 
types of ads that you would do that for would be introductory offers, introductory freebies, any type of that thing. Is that what your goal is? Or do you already have an existing client list that, or an existing group of people that you can start selling to that you can offer your core services to? If you have that, then you can do Facebook ads, right? If you're just trying to figure it out, you don't know who your ideal market is. You don't know what your product is. You don't know any of that, right? Facebook ads, not for you. I'm going to shake my head, not for you. Don't even waste your time. Don't waste my time. Don't waste anybody's time. Just focus on getting clarity. Okay, so if you're clear about your offer, you're clear about your ideal client, and you know that that product is going to solve a problem or fulfill a desire, then you're ready. Okay, so then let's talk about, so that's sort of like the foundational stuff. Most people are not even at the foundational stuff and they start wanting to do ads. The second thing is that, or maybe the third, I think we're on number three, right? It's funny, I'm really good with numbers, but I can't keep numbers straight when I'm doing lives at all to save my life. All right, so the number three thing that lets you know that you're ready for Facebook ads is that you are ready to expand your reach greater than who you individually can touch. Meaning you, you, you're you tired of networking, right? I, and I don't mean that like, because you're always, again, I always say if you're not in the business of marketing, you should be in the business of developing relationships. So I'm not suggesting that. But like you don't want to like do your elevator pitch with a thousand people or try and reach out and send out messages or emails or whatever that may be. You want to expand your reach greater than who you individually can touch, Right. Email is a great way to expand your reach, but if you don't have a large email list, Facebook ads are a great way for you to grow that list, right? So that's number three. If you're ready to expand your reach greater than the reach that you personally can acquire by you talking to an individual, ads are right for you. All right, so now I'm ready to talk about when you need to be leveling up from a tools perspective because... I have encountered a couple of things in the last couple of days that's made me a little bit like, okay, maybe I haven't been really clear about what are some of the tool prerequisites that you need for Facebook advertising or advertising in general. You can get away with a lot of stuff and not have tools if you're doing things manual, right? The whole concept with Facebook ads is to allow you to reach a large number of people, right? And you want to automate as much of the process as you can, right? So this is really about efficiency, scales of efficiency, and being able to reach, get in front, get your offers in front of thousands of people at a time, and for you to be able to respond to that in an automated fashion so you're not doing manual work, right? So you get that, right? You want to be able to do an ad. They're either going to go to a website or they're going to perform an action. And that action isn't going to require you personally to have to do something, right? Because you're going to have that whole system and process in place to ensure that an email automatically goes to them when they purchase a product or when they download a product, right? That an automated action is going to have, you want to ensure that you have reduced the amount of touches that you have to do. Now, many of you may be like, well, what the hell does that mean? Like, right, I don't know what that means and I don't really get it, right? So what really happens in the whole Facebook advertising is your whole flow is broken. So this is what I mean about tools that you need. You want to be powerful with Facebook. You have to have a landing page or a website that can act like a landing page. Right. And so what do I mean by that? If you've got a regular website and you cannot flow a person from from a opt in. uh, 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 So let me let me even go a little bit more generics, just in case if there's some people who don't know what those terms are. A landing page is simply a page that has information about your product or services that you are going to let someone see once they go from your Facebook ad to this page. It's an information page. 
Usually the next step after that information page, particularly when we're talking about stranger advertising. So again, remember, I'm, I have three types of customer types that you're dealing with. You're dealing with strangers, you're dealing with acquaintances, and you're dealing with BFFs. So I'm not talking about your best friend from second grade. I'm talking about the best friend that you create in your customer who is loyal to your product, right? So when you do stranger advertising, usually the flow is you go from ad to a landing page, which is an information page. It's going to talk about what your product or services are. And then from there, you're going to take them to the next page. If you cannot create that flow in your website, you need a landing page software, right? Options, my preferred option is ClickFunnels. If you don't know about ClickFunnels, hit me up. I'll tell you all about it. There's another one which is called Lead Pages, right? That's another one that you should be using. Usually, unless you have a programmer, a general website isn't going to allow you to create that flow. Why do I need you to have that flow? Because I want you to utilize the most powerful point of Facebook advertising that there is, which is the conversion ad. So you need a landing page or landing page functionality, either through your website or landing page software. If you're ready to do Facebook ads, you need to level up and you need to invest in that. ClickFunnels, um, ClickFunnels is my choice, right? I'm not going to lie. That is what I, that is what I teach. That is what I know. And I love that software. So, um, I think there's another one called Lead Pages. There's, um, I think there's another one that starts with an O. I can't remember the name of it. I'll have to get you Optimized Press, I think, has one. Get Response has some landing pages as well. So there's a variety of different landing page softwares that you need. Now, the question becomes, well, why the hell do I need it if I have a website? Because I just said it. I just gave you the answer. Your website cannot normally take you through a step-by-step -step process for which that you can add multiple events. Most people are not technical enough to be able to do that with their website. If you have a web developer and you don't mess with your website and some other guy or gal messes with your website and they can replicate that functionality, you're golden. But if you're doing it yourself, it's time to step up. It's time to level up. It's time for you to let someone else do it or you invest in software that does it for you and makes this process seamless, right? Do not try and rig this because you're going to just frustrate yourself. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not coming on the phone to help you do it if you're not investing in software. All right. So enough of that soapbox. If you don't have a landing page software, get it or get a web developer. That's my number one. The second thing that you need is, is I have just been working in my group. Um, and for those of you who are not a part and want to know all about Facebook, you need to join my group, Facebook Ad School for Business Owners. And that is where I'm going to be doing a special live tonight on how to install your Facebook Pixel. I've been working over the last couple of days with a lot of the members, getting them the instructions to install their Pixel. But this is a number two number. I think we're number four or five, guys. You never know. I can never keep up with the numbers. We're number five, a thing that you need, tool that you need. You need your Facebook Pixel installed on your website and your landing pages, right? You need that pixel installed on your website and your landing pages. If anyone is ever going to your website, you need your pixel installed there. If you're going to do Facebook ads, no, there's no, there's no option here that I'm going to recommend that's going to say that you don't need that pixel installed. So if you have web software, you know, some little non-traditional web software. And usually I'm okay with you guys getting whatever makes sense for you at the time. But Jesus Christ, there is about a million different web host companies out there. And a lot of these little web hosting companies that allow you to, to, to create a website in a box, they're great, but you have a requirement now that you didn't, you may not have known that you had when you first did your website. And that's your ability to install a Facebook pixel. So if your website does not support that and you are driving traffic to that website, meaning you are listed in Google, people are finding you and they cannot, you cannot either hook your, 
And if you're doing Facebook ads, I'm sorry. There's no, there's no other tracking mechanism. You need the pixel on your site. If people are going to your website, you need the pixel on your site. I can't tell you to go and get Google Analytics or some other ID. You need the pixel. That is the tracking code that you need on your site. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to get off my soapbox on there. So if you have a website and people are going to your website and you don't have a way to put your Facebook pixel on there, let me stress it again. You need your Facebook pixel on your website in order to effectively use Facebook ads. If it's not on your website now, you are not using the full power of Facebook ads. Okay. All right. So if you have, I think I encountered uh, a site, two sites that working with, um, the members in our group. Um, one of them is, so like if you're in the beauty, prof- if you're in the beauty professional and you are utilizing, um, third party salon software, most of those salon software do not allow you to, um, put your, put a pixel on that site. Um, most of them are not sophisticated like that. So my recommendation is always for beauty professionals to have an external website that is within their control that they can manage the look and feel and they integrate it with their salon software site, right? That's a whole different topic. But if you've got a third party website that is not yours, that you're sort of renting space on, they let you modify the colors, they let you put, you know, the your logo and the name of your business, but you don't really own that site, that's, you need that site. You need that asset. It's time for you to level up and get a website. You need an online digital asset and your website is that digital asset. That is not your site. If you are renting space from someone else's site and you're ready to do advertising, it's time for you to invest in a website or a microsite. And we can talk about that a little bit later. All right. So website, Facebook pixel, um, it's time for you to level up. If you don't have a website, you don't need a website, but you need a landing page, um, software or some way to be able to create a microsite, right? So click funnels is my choice, not an option here, right? Either a website that acts like, um, a landing page software that allows you to flow a person through s- multiple steps so that you can track events or you have to invest in software. Click funnels, lead pages, optimize press, get response. All of those have um, the ability to mimic a sales funnel and for you to do that. All right. So pixel and a landing site to level up things that you need to do from an investment perspective into your business when you start, when you get ready to start advertising. All right. Then the other thing that I want to um, talk to you about, which is Um, not so much on my soapbox, but still something that you need to do, you need to do is that you got to invest money and time, right? Um, if you've never done any sort of advertising of your business, I always tell people this, particularly when they're dealing with projects, right? You either have to get invest time or you have to invest money, right? You cannot assume that you're going to level up get scales of efficiency without the investment of one of those things. So if you're trying to trade out the amount of time it takes you to network and meet people for the ability to reach thousands of people who are your ideal clients, potential ideal clients and convert them to paying, um, paying customers, you've got to have a budget for that, right? So this is the time for you to start allocating funds. And I'm not talking thousands of dollars. I say this all the time that you can start with $5 a day per ad for you to start testing it out, for you to start seasoning that pixel so that you can start to really see results on your ad. So again, we're not talking thousands of dollars, but you do need to earmark money for your Facebook ads. This is not for free. Zuckerberg is not in the business of making, uh, making this for free for anyone. So you do need to advertise dollars. We will talk about this month, how much money money you should be starting with when you start your Facebook ads. But right now, I want you to think that you need to at least from a testing perspective, let's say you want to do a get email campaign. You want to start to grow your email list with an introductory offer to start to get some new leads into your business, right? Um, so my recommendation right off the bat is, is that you should, if you've never done any advertising at all, you should at least 
allocate $150 towards advertising. That is enough money for us to figure out what your target, make sure that we validate your target audience, validate your offer, and you start getting emails. And then based on the performance of those ads and tweaking those ads, we can then either scale it up or scale it back based on the performance and all of all all of the you know the performance and the tracking that is required when you start doing advertising all right this is not a um a one-time event just like when you make your first sale right in order for you to stay in business you've got to keep making sales right you got to keep refining your process advertising and marketing is the same way you don't just do it for once you are in this shit for life right if you are in business you're in this business for life you are marketing that is your number one job the second job is relationship building and the third job is to make your money right is to make your money and to do what you do and to exert your superpower across the universe. All right. This is Sunday Gardner, Marketing Boss Pro. Glad to see you guys again. This is uh, September 17th, vlog September 17th. So you will see me tomorrow. If you have any questions about the tools that I've talked about today, oh, you know what? God, how could I forget like the most important tool? An email marketing solution. Like you cannot like do this shit without an email marketing tool. And I'm not talking about like the free version of your email marketing tool. There is a time and place for a free version. If you're ready to do advertising, my whole goal is so that you're successful at um, advertising, right? Not that you're just out there wasting your money that you're successful. So most of these free trials say that once you hit a hundred people, you are no longer at the free trial level, right? So my job is to make sure that I train you to ensure that you're hitting that hundred dollar mark, that hundred co contact list mark pretty quickly. I want you to make sure that whatever product that you get and we'll, you know, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to talk about email, uh, e email marketing tools that are going to meet the requirements for the types of things that you're going to want to be able to handle once you start advertising, because you're not going to want to be doing this shit manual. You're not going to want to be exporting files from Facebook, uploading them into an email marketing tool. Cause again, we're going to freaking create these ads that are going to scale, right? You're going to run a campaign and you're going to get hundreds of emails. It's not going to be where you get five or six emails. Now, you'll probably get that when we first start. But by the time you're done, the idea is to create a campaign for you that is consistently bringing in volume of new leads that meet your criteria, okay? Meet your ideal client that want your products and services that are interested in your business, right? So we are looking for solutions and tools that are gonna scale and be able to handle the volume that ultimately we will be creating, all right? All right, so now I'm really done. I will see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow we will be talking about email marketing tools, the types of requirements that we um, that you need to have when selecting one. And then maybe Wednesday we'll talk about, um, we'll talk about landing pages and I'll have several options beside my favorite click funnels, um, as to why you need to have that to help you with your microsites and that. So this week, let's let it be all about tools and all of those things. If you have not registered for series two in our training, which is, uh, um, Facebook ads type and how to effectively use them. I've included the link above that is at fazitypes.sundaygardener.com. We are going to dissect, demystify all of the Facebook ad types, and we're going to focus on the ones that you should be focused on as a business owner who is doing advertising. There's many choices, but that's a lot of noise. There's about five of them, and I'll give you the reasons why you want to focus on those five, which ones you want to do for which type of customer, and what's going to give you the best results. Okay. Now for real, this is Sunday Gardner, the marketing boss pro. We'll see you tomorrow on October 18. Bye-bye.